He'll be looking at this team thinking, is there a future here? What would he have made of that this evening? Well, that was an outstanding performance from start to finish. Everything they, that Ronald Koeman set them out to do, they've done, I didn't think they could do it. So what's happened there is that out of the smoke of the rubble of a, the old team, there's a semblance of a team of these young players, the Trincaus of this world, Fatty didn't play tonight, Pedri, Mingueza, the, 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 there's, there's pl young players there. And with the depth, which we didn't mm. talk to, we didn't have time to talk about it with a the club, they're going to have to go with these youngsters. And it looks like a similar situation to what Chelsea was with last season with Frank. Go with the youngsters. Like, Trincao impressed me when he come in. He can go both ways. Pedri, after the first 20 minutes where he was absolutely terrible, after that he was brilliant. He turned it around, <laughs> which shows he was, but he showed character. Do you know what I mean? So Messi will be sitting there and he'll, he'll get back on the plane tonight and he'll probably think... I can, I can work with this. You know, yeah. there's, there's still titles here for me and lead the next generation of this, this great club. And we've got a lovely graphic, actually, that shows the young players that are coming through and how many of them are coming through from the academy. And they're going to rely on them because of the financial implications that, that we've realised recently in things. Yeah, well, with a £1.2 billion debt, you're going to have to... Just that little debt. Yeah, you're not really going to be, buy, be able to buy much. So, look, some of the best young players in the world, Ansu Fati, as Joe said, didn't see him today. He's, he's, he's something else. Pedri was great today. Dest, I thought, played oh. great at right back. Uh, Mingueza, he, unfortunately, he went off because of the yellow card, but he was great. Trincao, as Joe said. De Jong popped in at centre-back. Mm. They played in the back three. He was fabulous. Um, so there's some great young players there. But I thought the effort and their intensity is what made the difference. You know, they played with real effort, with real heart. Yeah. And it just shows you football without work and intensity is nothing. And they deserve more from that game today. It was 1-1, but they should have they should have made it at least 3-1. I mean... They said if Neymar was in there or some, you know, uh, David Villa back in the day, because Griezmann and Dembele, as good as they played, they lacked that cutting edge on the top of the pitch. Hey, the masala keeps on churning out some decent. <laughs> I still can't say it. I'm, I'm, I've had my curry tonight. So <laughs> you did have a curry. Out, yeah. <laughs> I was so close to taking a photo and just sharing it on social saying he's having a masala. Um, let's talk about a man who, who is still central to what's going on there, Lionel Messi and the importance that, that he played for them this evening. He will now want to stay at that football club with the new president, the way that things have gone in the last few days. It's well, he's, he, he, it's the first time he's voted and um, in the elections. And Juan Laporta, the old, you know, he's overlooked the, the, the most successful reign of the club is coming back. So there's synergy there. Um, but you know what that, that does? To, I'm still holding that hope that we get to see him in the Premier League because that's excited me. He's, you know, just we've had so much joy watching yeah. him over the years, and you know, you're almost sad, you know, and it, and we're we're at fault for spinning the narrative of you know Haaland and Mbappe, the new guns, and Messi and Ronaldo. Messi ain't ready to go nowhere yet, and that goal he scored tonight, you know, it's not often you get universal in the studio people off their feet when you've seen something special, and it was, it was outstanding. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get into the evening then. We'll go through it in yeah. chronological order. First of all, the penalty that Joe said at halftime, he said for me, and then he corrected himself. Actually, he said. For football, this shouldn't be a penalty. We know that they continue to look at the, the laws of the game, and this is the kind of thing that needs looking at, isn't it? Yeah, well, because the thing is, he's not, you know, he's going to be nowhere near that. He's not going to get it. You go straight to the goalkeeper. I'm, I'm with Joe. I just, if it's even close, you could say maybe, but you know, it's accidental. Obviously, it's a clear contact, but mm. the ball's what? Eight yards away from him. Go, you know, De Jong's going to get there quicker than the law is. It's a foul yeah, in the, the box. Yeah, the law is the law, and that's the, that's the problem, Jake. It's not just VAR. It's IFAB and the wording of a lot of these things. I think they're going to look at the wording, but Killian the killer absolutely smashes mm. it in. Brilliant goal. And to be fair, up to that point, they hadn't had a kick. PSG, mm. Barca could have been up two or three by then. You know what? You look at that. You shake your head. You hate it. And then in the same game, we see that moment of brilliance from Lionel Messi. And that's. But that's football. Just yeah. quickly, quickly to go on the penalty thing. I, f I feel for for Anthony Taylor tonight and the referees, and and because it, it's a, it, the system's not right. We're too we're talking about too much. Then it? let's talk about Messi's goal, and it's it's almost un Messi like he scores every type of goal. You know, this is his, this is a goal straight out of the textbook of his arch rival Ronaldo. <laughs> He's just gone there and larrups it, and to hit the ball with that velocity and that direction. And the goalie's got absolutely no chance, but it's, it, it's, it, he's a big guy, Caelan Navas, and he's sprung. Look at the spring, mm. and it's just gone. It's just such a, it's a... That strike had a little bit of frustration in it, a little bit of anger, but... It and had a little a, bit it, of genius. And a, a, a majority of genius. <laughs> yeah. And it's just great that we get to sit here and watch him. 
And that's, you know, I just hope he goes on for many, many years to come. Absolutely. But then the penalty miss actually turned out, you know, to be a key moment in this game. Because if we'd have started the second half at 2-1, not at 1-all, it would have felt so different. I mean. Yeah, because I were on Griezmann there. And just before the, the end of the first half, look, they deserved at least 2-1. They probably should have been up by more. You think, right, this game on now, Messi make it 2-1. And they call him the Iceman, you know, for a reason. He's, he makes mm. great saves as penalties. And just wasn't meant to be for Barca. Give himself too big a mountain to climb from the first leg. You, you just fancy him there, don't you, Joe? You fancy him to hit the net. You fancy him, and you pick this own. Uh, you know, Verratti, how... We go back to VAR, and I'm, I'm pains to do it, but how have they not picked up on that he's encroaching there? He's nearly on Messi's back. He's so far... And, and if you run the tape on, you see he actually affects the game. Yeah. He, where he, he clears, he clears it with the header. So, you know, we, we, we want to get so pedantic about rules and laws and technology with this and that when if the people you know looking at it can't see that I don't understand where we are and I would say I, I don't know if it's the same system but the guys the guys in the Premier League seem to be a lot mm. better and we hold them accountable because we constantly you know why why is this and why are they doing that but I just can't understand how you can make a, a, a poorer decision it's a huge just, moment in the game it's massive it? yeah. it's massive and you know you, we, you, you just said there it wasn't to be in the end that they didn't manage it they had 21 shots this evening. They had 10 shots on target. They kind of did everything they needed to do, didn't they, this evening, apart from, apart from finishing the opportunities they created? They had nine shots on target in the first half. Yeah. They, they, honestly, they blew PSG away. And they should have... Honestly, at the top of the pitch, you think they spent £100 million on Dembele and Griezmann. And they, they played well up to, the, up to mm. the goal, didn't they, Joe? Up to the edge mm. of the box. And then that last cutting edge just wasn't there. They needed... They needed a Neymar in there. If, honestly, if Neymar, somebody was playing today, I'm not joking, they would have gone through. Yeah. They, they played great, but um, they didn't have that cutting edge at the top. Messi played fabulous, and it was lovely to see him back to his, his normal best. Let's talk, though, about the winners, because it's a, it's a big one for Maurizio Pochettino. It's yeah. a big one for PSG and their fans. This is the one that they want. Fancy them for the, for the trophy? They've got what it takes to go all the way? Have they got what it takes? They, they've got what it takes, yes. Do I fancy them? No. Such a strange year where, you know, Barcelona have gone, you know, Real Madrid have been dreadful, um, Liverpool have, have, have fallen off, the, they're still in it, but, you know, mm. it'd, be a, it'd be a good argument to try and make a case for them for actually winning the Champions League again because of all the troubles they're going through. So this year in particular, like last year, PSG have got a chance and it's, it's eluded them. And it's eluded them because I think for the same problems which we watched Juventus last year, I think they dominated their league too, too easily, I mean, haven't they? And, and then, so when they come against a, a team of equal stature like Barcelona, I just, in the little jewels in the midfield, the players are not accustomed to that kind of competitive game. Yeah, I think Poch will fancy their chances with that team, Jake. We shall see. Like Listen, it? gents, thank you so much for your company this evening. Glad you enjoyed the curry.